Hey, what's up? Once again, it's Reb Zev, and I'm outside getting some free vitamin D. It's a beautiful day. I hope everything is going well for you. I hope you're drawing closer to Hashem every moment. I trust that you are. I want to talk a little bit about um, when people are angry. When people are angry, they're in pain. When I get angry about something, it's because I'm in pain or because I feel trapped or something along those lines. Um, and I've been reminded recently, I was on the way home on the plane and a woman spoke to me. And uh, most of the time when I would see her, she looked angry. She would respond to other people in a very angry way. Um, she, she spoke to me on the plane, uh, she was asking me um, about some beads that I wear and she was asking me about why I was praying and this and that. And um, she began to tell me a little bit about her life, how she'd been abused, uh, she had been mistreated by many people in her life and uh, she actually began to deal drugs. Uh, however, her motives were actually good motives. She was trying to help a friend make sure that they had money for their doctor's appointments and she had to also fly to help this friend and, and provide transportation and she needed money for that. And she had children and she was a single mom. Well, it was really an amazing story. Uh, I was really humbled by the story, quite honestly. I still am the more I think about it. Um, but then she also revealed how much faith she has, or she's trying to get closer to God. And uh, that's why she asked me questions about why I was praying and so forth. It was a really fascinating conversation, and it just reminded me how much... Um, I need to have mercy on myself when I fail and I get angry. Uh, we need to have mercy on other people when they get angry. Uh, like I said, I know when I get angry, uh, it's because I feel trapped or, or I just feel like things aren't going the way I thought, which I know is, you know, contrary. I know we, we, we need to submit to Hashem all the time. and and understand that his plan is his plan and that's it and we need to go with the flow a little more and believe me guys I'm getting better just like this woman is getting better um, and we still have a long way to go I'm even thinking about the the people who have perpetrated these horrible attacks and I know that one of the people that perpetrated the attacks it was reported that they were dealing with mental illness and they'd been dealing with mental illness for many years like 20 years or something like this and mental illness for sure is something that will make you feel trapped um, thank God I do not have mental illness however I've had moments where my mind wasn't so clear uh, and I felt trapped in my mind and I can tell you that the, the anxiety and the fear that that produces is on a level that many people wouldn't understand. Now, thank God someone wonderful was speaking into my life at that time and also my family and, you know, I got through it. It was a very dark time and it was just, you know, a few days at, at the most. Um, but I think what I want to say is to remind everyone to have compassion on yourself when you get angry and try very hard to have compassion for other people when they get angry um, and even when they do horrible things I'm not saying it's right what happened it's not right it's wrong and I'm still hurting from it very much because as I told you earlier 
some of the things that are happening in today's world are the very reasons why I did not want to fulfill the mitzvah of having children. I was just thinking, you know, it's too much of a crazy world to bring children into it. And, you know, some days I thought, I'm not going to see the good days ahead. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Fast forward, and I've hit bottom a few times, and now I'm surrounding myself with people who speak more life and love and happiness and it's helping me to speak more light and love and happiness it's helping me to expand that window of peace so that I won't uh, respond or react in anger to things still very difficult to do sometimes I still fail and yet I notice even when I fail good things are coming out of it conversations are being had and we're all getting better even when we fall into a bit of darkness or, or a bit of sadness we're finding our way out more easily now so what I want to say guys is have compassion on yourself have compassion for others and pray for those people who did those things and pray 